Hey you guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. So today I'm going to be doing a love reading for the zodiac sign of Aquarius. So if you have Aquarius anywhere in your birth chart, this video may resonate with you. So don't forget to like this video, comment, and subscribe. Also, if you want to book a personal reading with me, just email me. My email is in the description box down below. Okay. So let's see what's going on for my collective spirit guys of one light and sisters and the masters, my angel prime light. Please protect your deck from any negative energies. Please them to receive consciousness messages for Aquarius. So we have here the Page of Swords, the Tower. We have here the Nine of Wands. So if you're being connected to a Gemini, or you're Aquarius like yourself. Okay, Sagittarius. We have the Page of Wands. Queen of Swords. Give me one card for it. Okay, and the page. Page of Wands, the Page of Pentacles. Okay. So, here we have the Page of Swords, the Page of Pentacles, and the Page of Wands. So, I'm getting a very immature energy here. Okay. I'm seeing here that somebody here has a problem with that throat chakra. Somebody here doesn't know how to speak up for themselves. Okay. Or express their emotions. They rather just keep everything in. I'm seeing here somebody, um, sexual energy could be scattered. Like somebody here has a, has a sex addiction, okay? And I'm seeing here, it's like somebody here is, um, going through a, a financial turmoil. I'm seeing that some of you guys could be either going back to school or you learning some type of new skill here, okay? Or you are like reading more books or something. Some of you guys could like to be in the library, okay? It's very like peaceful, okay? I'm seeing here, it's like you are very curious. Like it's like you always want to learn more. Like you just never like keep yourself in a box. Like you could be multi-talented here, but it's like, it's some shit that you know that somebody think that you don't know. And I feel like you could be playing dumb. Because you don't want somebody here to be like monitoring your moves. And I feel like it's really bothering somebody here that they don't know what's going on with you. This person with the page of swords here, it's like they're watching you. They watch you a lot. I feel like somebody here is trying to get some type of information on you. So it's like somebody here is trying to get some type of information on you to expose you or to make you look like the bad person and make them look like the victim in a situation here. Or make you look like a hoe or something. I don't know if this person could be trying to get somebody that they know to like try to like contact you or something like that on like social media and flirt with you and see it like if you're gonna like be easy or something. So they could like prove their case for whatever fucking reason. I feel like this person needs to leave you the fuck alone. Okay, this person don't have shit to do. They gotta be bored. Like, this person needs to find a job. And if they have a job, they need to pick up some extra shifts because apparently this person's not fucking busy enough, busy enough to be watching you. 
And I feel like this person is watching you transform. And somebody here is looking at you like, who the fuck do you think you is? Like, I bet you, you are the same person or something like that. Like, this person don't know that you are, you know, you're healing. You're healing. Yeah, like, you're releasing old belief systems here. Okay, you're breaking free of procrastination. That's why I said, like, somebody here trying to, like, capture you or frame you for some shit. This person don't believe that you are changing. Like, I don't know. Somebody here still thinks that you're the same person. And I feel like this is how a person was like, they keep bringing up your past. To try to make you feel insecure. Or guilty or something like that. And I, and I bet you this person has did more shit than you in their past. Okay, that they can't stop thinking of. That's why this person keeps trying to remind you of their past. Because they can't stop thinking about the dumbass, weird ass shit that they have done. For no fucking reason. To people that was genuine. And I feel like he was really like sincere and, you know, kind hearted to this person. Somebody here is seeing like, you know, your life is just becoming better and better. And, and it's like, you are seeing like this person was a distraction. Like it was, your life was going down here because you had this person in your life. Okay. This person wasn't meant to you to come along with you on your journey here to receive these blessings and abundance. And somebody here feels entitled to your success, your wealth. I feel like somebody here is trying to ruin you, and I feel like they have the, the, the that enough. Like, how much, the, how much more damage do you want to do? Somebody here thrives seeing you in pain. But I'm seeing you. You have you. You got to be prepared dealing with this motherfucker because this person, they're trying to really like sabotage you and hurt you for whatever fucking reason. Like somebody here is obsessive and they're so fucking pressed and bothered. Okay, that you're choosing to take the high road in life and not deal with their shenanigans. And with the Queen of Swords, yeah, I feel like you're very intelligent, you're brilliant, okay? You're um, you're wise. And I, I'm seeing you releasing these, this, this situation with this person because they don't longer serve you. And I feel like you're seeing the humor in difficult situations, you know? Like somebody here is sticking like the, the shit that they put you through I felt like through your swords at the bottom of the deck here, it broke your heart, okay? You know? And I feel like you are vulnerable enough to admit that. You're not trying to act like this person didn't hurt you in any type of way. They probably did, you know? But it's like you're laughing at the situation, you know? Like you're not taking that experience to your new experience, you know? That past experience, I mean. Like you're leaving it behind, you learned your lessons, okay? And now you know how to pinpoint motherfuckers that's low vibrational, okay? And I'm seeing here as well, you can be focusing on your career, okay? You're trying to catch up from like lost time here. And I'm seeing it's like, you know, you're gonna have an excellent opportunity here. I'm seeing you having a lot of great news coming in about your career, okay? And I'm seeing like you're enthusiastic, you're optimistic here, but I see you very creative, okay? And I see that somebody here is impatient, like they're trying to see whatever that they conjured up to fuck with you did it work. And I'm seeing it's like this person with the Queen of Swords here, they, they're not getting no response out of you. The Queen of Swords is very cold, okay? Guarded, I feel like you're guarded towards this person and you know, you too busy focusing on what the fuck you got going on. This person trying to come and fuck with you. Like it's like this you in La La Land and somebody here is just angry as fuck. Like they need to go take the anger out on something else. Just cause you don't want to be with their ass or deal with them. And I feel like somebody here could be letting you know that they're watching you. Like, hey, I'm here. Like they want you to think about them. They want you to give them some type of attention or energy. 
Like, go find somebody else to do to do that with. Like, what the fuck? And the crazy part is, this person could be saying that you're obsessed, you won't leave them alone, but it looks like they won't leave you the fuck alone. Somebody here feels like y'all have unfinished business. Okay, clarify the page of swords. Like they need to finish what they started with you. <laughs> what about the page of swords? The five of cups in reverse. What else for the page of swords? The hermit. What else? Yeah, I feel like you have released some emotional baggage here. Any regret that you had in this situation with this person. Okay. Yeah, like somebody here really thought that they was going to just keep you stuck. From the hurt that they caused you. But you turned their hurt into something beautiful. Okay, you chose to change and not go around and hurt the next motherfucker because somebody did something to you. You choose to heal that. Those wounds. Somebody here could like to wear like all stars, chucks, okay? Somebody here here could be ginger. Somebody here could have a, a rabbit as a pet. Somebody here, um, race can be like Indian. I'm also seeing somebody here could have like an afro, big afro. Or somebody here has, I'm seeing like a lizard as a pet. But, yeah, it's like you went within here. You did some self-reflection, introspection here, okay? And somebody here just still on the same shit. Like somebody here is not trying to change. And they know that's why you don't want to fuck with their ass anymore because somebody here needs to go within. I feel like you've been worrying about yourself, pampering yourself. Not focus on this motherfucker. Somebody here just still trying to manipulate the situation here. Or they're just telling their, themselves lies about why you left them. Like they think you're going to fuck with somebody else here. Like you're portraying them like you cheated on them or some shit like that. And the whole time you focused on bettering yourself now you're not focused on getting with another motherfucker and i feel like this person they hop in relationships after relationships like this person does not never heal can i fight transformation and that's why this bitch you know that they just gonna have to be watching you forever because you're not going for none of that shit you set boundaries with this person okay and they don't like that the emperor and I don't know why this person thinks that you're watching them. That's like transformation. Like, you don't give a fuck what this person has going on. Yeah, somebody here is in denial about their fucked up ways. This person wants to be controlling. They want to call the shots here. Somebody here don't know how to compromise. This person has destructive behavior. Okay, addictions. They're materialistic care. And they're very codependent on your energy. And this person is thinking that you have went to somebody else that's doing better than them, that look better than them. Because this person, I feel like they don't like how they look. <laughs> I just went to somebody here that's on their shit. And I feel like you probably is. Yeah. You don't want to deal with their ass. This person is a fucking narcissist. Yeah. Somebody here is at a stalemate. They don't want to make a decision here that's going to better their life. Somebody here just want to just stay in this low vibration of its energy. And it has nothing to do with you. Clash by the amount of wands. Everybody's in charge of their own healing. It's, it's over with. We're pointing the fingers and keep holding on to trauma and shit. Like, kill that shit. You have the sun, six of cups. I feel like this person has like an angel and a devil on their shoulders. <laughs> this person thinks that trying to control a situation will have them be victorious or something and it never goes in their fucking favor. 
like somebody here thinks that they're so powerful, that they're in charge, they're superior, and they're not. But we got the sun, six of cups, and the nine of wands. So I feel like this person, somebody here is bitter, they're miserable because you're happy, you're enjoying life, you're celebrating. And the six of cups sounds like somebody who wants to return, but they only want to return because they want to have sex. Somebody here wants to let out their frustrations on you through being intimate, like being sexual. And I feel like you don't want this person penis, vagina at all. Like, ew. Or oh, this person is like they still hold on to people from their past. And they go and still fuck with these people, have sex with these people because these people allow it. Thinking that this person is coming back to be with them the whole time. They just want something, some sex from this person. I feel like this person is so busy watching you. It's crazy. Like, <laughs> I don't know if this person thought that. You was gonna get mad if they was to go fuck somebody else or something. Like, you don't give a fuck about that. I don't know if this person thinks like sex is just everything. Can I find a page of pentacles? Now, what the fuck? Now, pentacles. Yeah, you're very independent here. And I'm seeing here, you're doing good financially. Okay? Somebody here wants to come and like hurt you. Like, I'm seeing somebody here trying to fake like they want to be with you. They miss you the whole time. Their intention is, is to come back and fuck with you and hurt you some more. Because this person, they feel like you're, you're too high on your horse. Like, they need to come humble you. Okay? They don't want you to feel good about yourself or be happy. This person is weird. That's why the Page of Pentacles. We have the Eight of Swords. And the Justice. Yeah, you get yourself justice here by walking away from the situation here. This person has a mental health issue. They don't have it all up there or they're not trying to. Somebody is trying to act slow, act dumb, like they don't know what the fuck going on. And it's only going to affect, affect them. This person thinks that's going to shit, that's, that shit going to hurt you, but it's not. You doing good. They're not. The fuck? Somebody here plays a victim. A lot. Play for the Queen of Swords. Somebody here could be like a criminal, like they could always be in and out of jail or some shit like that. For some of y'all, I'm getting like y'all could have paid for this person's like commissary when they was in jail. Or this is the type of people that this person goes out to, people that they know that, you know, have money and shit like that. So they can use these people. And this person that like go to these bitches to slander you and so they can get sympathy from these bitches and have these bitches do whatever they want want them to do. Cause like um King of Swords. We have the four swords, the star and ten of pentacles. Yeah, I feel like you are just focused on rest and recovering. You can be spending time in solitude and nature. Okay. I feel like you have healed a lot. Like you came a long way here. And I'm seeing it's like you're about to be in a new romantic connection here, the Ace of Cups here, I keep saying it. Something here is going to be stable, it's going to be long term. Nothing here is going to be built on a softer foundation. Clef out the page of wands. We have the Fool. Yeah, I feel like you're ready for this new beginning. Yeah, somebody here is just <laughs> thinking about the situation with you nonstop. They know that they fucked up. Yeah. Somebody here was being deceptive, sneaky. They were trying to win at all costs here. Thought that some shit wasn't going to come out. Somebody was going to take something to the grave with them, but you found out everything. Okay? As you motherfucking should. And I feel like, you know, you're not looking back. Somebody here thinks that you're going to come back to them or something like that. But you're not. It's over with. It's done. So they can go be a hoe. Seven cups at the bottom of the deck. Somebody here wants you to be a part of their shenanigans here with third parties and shit. And somebody here is mad because you surrendered this connection with this person and you done playing with their mind games. You done allowing them to manipulate you. Okay? 
And somebody here just seeing like, you know, they're just letting life pass them by. They don't have shit going on for themselves. Like this person is a fucking bum. They, they thought that you was gonna stay by treating you a certain type of way. <laughs> like something here got so played out to you, so like you're just so over. This person is childish as fuck. Oh, this person fuck with you, we're gonna come running after them or something, but you know as <laughs> you went, you turned the cheek. Okay, and you went you're taking the fake you went going somewhere else. You got something better in store for you any fucking way. Period. And somebody here is mad because their plan that they thought they were going to keep you to stay didn't work. Or whoever they tried to use to help them come at you or get a reaction out of you, that shit didn't work neither. Now somebody here is looking stupid. I'm so tired of reading on this person. This person keep having bitches trying to come for you. Like these bitches, I bet you these bitches look a hot fucking mess. Like they look terrible. Like, ew. Ew to both of y'all ass. <clears throat> but I hope this video you guys all cared. If you did, don't forget to like this video, comment, subscribe, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.